better at that have you been taking lessons new lessons yep. <laughs> you just know one song but you know good yeah okay uh reminder we have data fruit new 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 news letter um yeah. you have to go into your account you have to be signed up it's like a million hard ways because we don't spam people you really have to try hard um but that's the newsletter okay and it's pretty neat because it comes out every week has a new product has a bunch of fun stuff and sometimes there's surprises Ooh. Ooh. yeah all right let's do this okay Free squares. Squares. <laughs> yeah. Yellow squares. Yeah. On sale. These yeah. are solder sponges. Um, I got a whole bunch of samples. These were really nice. So these are useful if you are soldering and you have to replace the sponge. Uh, this is like a demo video showing it off. I can show them on the overhead. They actually have a little hole that you can uh, push out yeah. for solder. Can you go to the overhead? It's like a saltine. Yum. <laughs> well, I, I want, oh, you want to go to the overhead? overhead? Yeah. So yeah, so you can you can cut out this hole and then um, and then yeah, it's fun. You can you can get it started by just putting some water on it, and you don't want it to be like soaking wet, but you just want it to be like kind of damp. And then um, you know when you brush your soldering iron against it, uh, like it'll that. clean off your iron. I prefer the sponges. Some people like um, the brass uh, scrubber type, you know, sponge cleaner thingy. I don't actually like. Um, the sponge is more, but you can't use like a kitchen sponge because it's not like high temperature designed. Um, these work quite well. They clean off your iron very well. Um, they have just enough sort of texture to them to, to get little bits of um, old uh, paste and flux and um, solder off. And then uh, they just build it in the center and then you can just toss them out. And uh, so well, a little sponge comes in a pack of three because, yeah. you know, probably more than one. Three is this theme tonight. Apparently. And then you can cut it, you know, with scissors if you need to place it into your um, iron, just because like, you know, we give you a pretty big square, you may not need the full size. So like I have one where I had to sort of, you know, cut little round pieces, you just cut with scissors and you're good to go. And then, you know, fit it, put it into the um, soldering iron holder and then, and then yeah. spongy it up. Okay, next up. Nice and thick too. Yep. Yeah. Oop. This is a new Piperoni fat add-on for Raspberry Pi. This is the Fat Beat. So I think this is part of one of their kits too, but they sell it individually. And this has a stereo I squared C speaker output and then a bunch of buttons. Um, so really good if you just want to make a little audio player and have it um, drive some speakers and uh, you get buttons and you get like LEDs on the top too. And so the, the LEDs light up. You can have it be a view meter and it runs automatically in software. And then um, there's little side buttons if you need. So if you want like volume up and down, fast forward, play, pause, right. Um, a power button, which you can program in Python to do power. And then you can have your speaker wires go in there. So it goes onto a Raspberry Pi Zero or uh, it doesn't have to. You can go onto a Pi 2 or Pi 3. It just happens to be Pi Zero shaped. And then you have a little switch. You can switch from stereo to mono if you want. And uh, it's all good. Very easy to use. Okay. Lots of buttons. All right. Lots of LEDs. We'll have a we'll have a running demo maybe um, next time. We're out of time. We just got this in today. Yep. But there's demo code on their site. You can set and it up. And the star of the show beside you, Lady Ada, tonight is Gemma M0. Yeah, we have the new Gemma M0. It's here. Um, so the um, Gemma M0 is the new generation of Gemma. So we had the Gemma Classic for a couple of years, which is kind of a variant on the Flora. So we wanted to make a smaller Flora. And this is kind of a, a rethink. So instead of using an AT Tiny processor, we went with uh, an um, at SAMD 21E18, which is uh, the same chip that's used in um, our Feather M0 and Metro M0. We used just a pin that uh, version has a fewer pins so it could fit into the center there. And um, what's nice is it's really powerful. So it's got like, you know, 64 times as much RAM and like eight times as much flash and it runs like six times faster. So it's, it's all around much faster, has a lot more capabilities. It can do a USB serial or, or USB keyboard, like it acts like a you know, proper Arduino. You can do debugging with it. Um, you can um, have it show up as a keyboard. You can show up as a, a mass storage disk drive. Uh, it has a ton of flash space, so you can store like little audio clips inside of it because you have 256k of flash. So we have a demo with like it. Sort of, yeah. How many NeoPixels do you think you could drive with this? You can drive about like 6,000. 6,000? Yeah. Because you have 32k of, of uh, flash, and then you use three bytes per. So about 6,000. You have a little bit left over. Wow. So you can drive a lot of NeoPixels because uh, there's tons more RAM. 
and um, we added like a little dot star RGB LED there as well so you can see it's it's changing colors for you so you know we used to have a green LED but then we decided you know what if you have all these extra pins because we have a lot of pins on this chip so uh, we just put connected to to a dot star LED and so you yeah, can have status notification status do notification a quick whatever test, make sure everything's working mm -hmm. no ID you need just just pop it in and show us if it's right. Yeah, and so we Woo. we use the same pin IDs as the original Gemma. So if you have code for the Gemma and Arduino, you can just run on this and it'll be identical. We kind of made, you know, A0 and D1 and D2, all the pins. So they don't, like, make a lot of sense, but they're identical to the old uh, Gemma, which is which is pretty handy. And uh, it's the same size. We made the pads bigger, so you can use it with alligator clips. You can still sew them, but they're a little more alligator clip friendly, so that's yeah. kind of nice. Um and uh, yes, yeah, it's compatible. And then one of the big changes is that we updated it to now come with CircuitPython. So instead yep. of, you can use it with Arduino and it works with our Arduino core just fine. Uh, everything's lovely under Arduino and you get uh, full control of the chip. But when we ship it to you, it comes with CircuitPython. So when you plug it in, it shows up like a little disk drive with code examples already on it. A readme, the Windows driver if you need a driver file. So you don't have to download any software? There's no software. You can just edit the main.py file right there using your favorite editor, or text editor, or whatever. And um, I just have a, a little demo of the, the Gem M0 oh, here so I can demo. show it off. So, you know, this is actually running Python. So I got a 16 by 16 LED That's matrix. That's and then uh, I just plugged in a little a battery. Yeah. And then um, Turn it on. just Whoa. a red, green, blue, rainbow. So cool. it can drive, you know, easily within Python, NeoPixels or sensors. Uh, all the pads can be analog inputs. There's a true analog output, so you can play little audio files. Um, we have a, like a 10 second, 12 second audio file version that you can play uh, just directly from the analog output pin. Um, all the pins can do capacitive touch. They can do PWM, so you can connect servos. And what's nice is it's like a natively Arduino and CircuitPython supported, so you don't have, like with the old Gemma, it was like kind of bit bangy and a little hacky, like, you know, you had a special version of the wire library, maybe, or you had a, a special, yeah. like, servo control library. With this, it's, like, actually the full 48 megahertz, 256K flash yeah. version of the chip. It's just um, very small, and you have these pads. But it's it's very powerful, and uh, we got good pricing on the chip, so it's still the same price as the yeah. original Gemma. But it's just, like, yeah, that's way the, better. Yeah, that's the thing that a few people... Noted, it's the same price as the original Gemma. Mm -hmm. It's the same price, but it's going to be a lot easier to use, more powerful. And I, I recommend people, if you're starting on a new Gemma project, just go with the M0 because yeah. you'll be able to use Python. And if you're if you're getting started with programming, I think Python's a little easier to learn. Um, or you can use Arduino. And then again, all the code is back compatible. Like we went back and we actually checked all of our Gemma guides yeah. and we tested them to make sure. And we'll, we're going to go back and add Circuit Python code yeah. for them as well. What I like about this, if you do like a costuming or if you do anything where it has a bunch of LEDs and you're in an event, you could just edit the code kind of there on anything. Yeah. It's a big deal. And you can use it with any sensors and it's just, it's just like you're using an existing ecosystem and this nice powerful chip. Yeah. And um, we just, we just, you know, moved a couple, oops. I think my battery died. Um, we just have to move a couple parts around, but mm -hmm. it pretty much all fit. And yeah, it's like you get a NeoPixel and you got this nice silk screen on the back. Yeah. And uh, it works just, just as normal um, with all your Gemma projects, but it's better. And this will en enable people to do even more projects, especially like with CircuitPython. It's a lot easier to use because, again, you just plug it in and we have example code yeah. ready to go for NeoPixels yeah, and buttons. Yeah, we're getting it uh, with makecode.adafruit.com as well. We're mm -hmm. going to do all that. So it's very exciting. Okay. So I'm excited about this Gemma and we'll have a trinket as well. Okay. And then, of course, the Circuit Playground Express. We have now five, we're going to have five boards with CircuitPython. Yeah, we're just getting warmed up. Yeah. All right, Lady Anna. That's it. Good work. Yeah. Products. It's over. Yay. Okay.